All right, we're gonna go Divine Shield Cannons. Give me them cannons. Easy Arcane Cannons. So if we buy this for three, and the level cost is gonna be two, or one away, uh, doesn't do anything. Yeah, you're probably right. I should have bought the guy and not uh, played it. I just wasted. Well, I get a roll here, so but we get an extra search for arcane cannon. McCall, that's a pretty good roll. I think I take double tokens. <laughs> just fill my board with tokens. I don't have any death rattles to go to McCall though. The McCall's kind of questionable. The strongest, but it'll fight hard. I'll freeze the Makado. though. I believe. We just need a spawn. Just give me a spawn and we're all good. Is this the tie? No. We have to value trade on the 1-1 one -one to get the tie. And then everything goes perfect from there. Easy. That oh, makes it over there next to the guy, huh? Interesting. I kind of want to shield the cannon. That will be fine. We'll shield it later. We want to get to five and just find, uh, we got to find the Great Wolf. We got to get the Rivendare and Goldrin. That's the comp. Rivendare, Goldrin, Monstrous Macaw. Oh yeah, we don't have board space, you're right. Perfect. No, not the cannon. Close. What am I looking for at three? More cannons, taunts. That unit is just good. Hyena's decent to lean further into beasts. Maybe yeah, hyena's good. Maybe the taunt was better. I kind of like the shields with the hero power red. Because now we have divine shield comp open. Another fellow cannoneer. Nice. I rolled that one, man. We don't have any way to buff Hydra yet. But Hydra is a good unit. But probably without the buffs, we can't buy it yet. Wait till we get Goldrin first. Uh-oh. Our death rattle's down. We don't get an extra 3-2. Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. we all 
another cannon. I like that. I don't know if we go for the golden macaw. I have no idea the correct way to sequence this, but it seems all right. It's hard for us to get board space for the macaws. <laughs> There's no bird space, man. We might have been able to win this with some better positioning. The cannons are kind of falling off here. I just don't have the board space to operate with this setup any longer. The parrots are falling off first. Let's get rid of the parrots. Those are big. 69% to win. Nice. We're like a Caligos comp now. It's like what we're trying to do. Your really their Let's get a Caligos then. That was easy. All right, cool. Charmander dragon. One battle cry. We probably look for more than one battle cry. Dude, divine shield cannons are lit. Then they carry you to the late game. And then you're just George in the late game. Easy. Huh. I don't think we need Bran. I think we're probably strong enough. We're going cannonless, but the cannon served us well. 100% win. Oh yeah. Large and in charge. Top three. Your minions really I have witnessed the truth and time. I didn't like.
like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. I probably freeze this. Two battle cries, and they still get one more slot coming in. Might as well not be that greedy. And one of them has a positive effect. It's pretty rare. Uh oh. We died. Those are big pirates. He got the hogger. Dude, he's hogger and the salty looters. To the extreme. This is the greatest pirate comp I've ever seen. The man outscaled a Caligos. We live at one. Welcome back. How's it going out there? That one might make I'll clean you up. Sending on the dragon better. It gives you plus one, plus one worth of stats more, but it also exposes you to cleave on that side. So I think this is better than ending on the dragon. If I would have checked to use seven murlocs first, there's not many cleave murlocs. They're a pretty rare adaptation of murloc. So you probably don't play around it. But yeah, we played against the murloc, we played around the murloc cleave. So this was really good against murloc cleave. You gotta look out for them, they're, they'll sneak up on you. Now this guy kills that guy, and then this guy kills us. So second place, not bad. This pirate guy is gonna be huge, probably. He's got two hoggers going, and he's got the salty looter. He should be just massive. But yeah, this guy could just hit Megasaur and win. He killed the other guy. He did not hit the Megasaur. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Ha! You want a tussle? Tussle. Another satisfied customer. All right, let's see how big the pirates are. He dealt 22 to the murloc guy? Holy crap. We only dealt 13 to the murloc guy. His pirates were absurdly big. He had a guy at 50-50 three rounds ago. This is like three rounds ago. He had a 53-50. So we're, there's like no way. Oh, we're favored. <laughs> All right, this guy had the most insane pirate setup possible. Pirate late game might be a little weak. He's got, Two copies of both six drops and goldens of every pirate related thing. 
And I don't even have a golden. Yeah, pirates, uh, pirates late game do not scale well. I had zero goldens. And he had like three goldens and four six drops that support his comp. He was missing the boat? No, he had two boats! He had two boats! He was on the boat, man. He had a fleet of boats. Huh. He put us at super low to win. I guess because he has so many tokens and we're Deathwing. But it looks like we still get there. 